So I was literally just here, like, uh, it's 10 o'clock in the morning and I was here at early nine, or I was here yesterday in the early afternoon. And uh, my thought is, my brother was in uh, no, the other town over East Peoria, and he pulled a couple of really good metal band t-shirts from the same era. And so I thought, I wonder if, because the way Goodwill donations sometimes work is like we have drop-off centers that aren't stores a lot around here. And I'm like, if somebody dropped off a pile of band shirts and they got to the distribution center, and are you kidding me? Perhaps more would be coming out. <laughs> uh, so. Uh, and maybe they're distributed at several stores. And that worked out. I just walked in the store, pulled a hundred dollar tea in a matter of 30 seconds. Um, doesn't look like there's any more, but nope, wait, what's that? Anvil Red Bar, oh, Colorado Rocky Mountains. So it's got a nice tag on it, but it's not a great shirt. This plush, really neat looking thing. Vintage, cool, cheap, two bucks but aggressively worthless. Like, surprisingly, no sell-through rate on those. I've tried to buy them and be like, dude, that has to be worth something. And I just end up donating them. No one wants them. They're so cool and cool looking and vintage, but they don't sell. So I'm leaving that one there. So this just came out on a brand new merchandise cart, which is weird, but it's five bucks and I know my wife will love it. And then these, this one's a dollar sixty-nine sealed. It's the exact same thing is five bucks, and then this one is five bucks also. So I'm gonna get them, but it seems weird. Um, I don't know what the comps are. And then this at three dollars. Either I'll hang it up or Asher will hang it up. It's pretty cool. So we're back at the University Goodwill, and I didn't even turn the camera on because I so rarely find anything worth buying. But we found in living color. And was that Chris Rock on In Living Color? I had no idea. Anyway, uh, that's weird. This is season five and three, and these were not marked up as movie, as series, so they were a dollar like DVDs. Dave Batista and the Dwayne The Rock Johnson is who I assume these guys are. That guy, and this is definitely The Rock. But then I don't know who that guy is. Uh, he has like that symbol on his chest. I don't know who that is. But these were five bucks. This is from 2002 and is a 48 inch beach ball. And I think I'll do really well with that. And then this was five bucks and it's the North Face Men's XL Fleece. But it says as is, but I don't see any flaws other than it being like a little dog hairy, but a lint roller. We'll clean that up easy. And then this guy, hopefully Levi doesn't watch my video. Boy, I guess uh, Fart Sack Jack wasn't joking. There's some, some skates. $5 a pair. I really like this little thing, but 40 bucks feels crazy. <clears throat> So I'm in the Habitat store and looking for a handful of things that are on the like, keep an eye out for the shopping list. And, oh no, it's broken. I didn't even notice, Never mind. I was like, I just found this and they won't sell me this. Like, like I can't run a credit card for this. So I hope I find something else, but this is broken. GE Space Maker with cassette. How cool is that? That's a pretty nice looking kitchen. So I was anticipating that this would be some kind of old CB something with a 12 volt inverter, but it has a USB on it. 
<clears throat> so I'm gonna figure out what it is. Thunderbolt Solar. This is a blaster in the past. It looks like just a regular like safety belt, but it's not. It's from World of Wonder Laser Tag. So essentially, there's a updated model of this thing, and this one has never hasn't sold used in the last 90 days. There is the tagger target for that uh, laser tag. How about a vintage Velveeta box? Just to put it is the top and bottom. I have not done a thrift route day in a good long while. And well, today I had some errands to run and I wanted to check and see if I could find more Pearl Jam shirts. And so that kind of started the ball rolling and now I'm just on a thrift route. And I probably shouldn't be because uh, I have too many things to do, but I have too little impulse control to not just stop at every thrift store and see if I can make money. Uh, I think this is going to be the last one. And then we'll do some lunch and head home. All right, well, we're done at this Goodwill. Um, not a lot, I'll show you what I got, but it was pretty disappointing, just a whole, whole lot of nothing. As I was leaving, they brought this cart out with these for a dollar and 69 cents. Now that one looks like probably a 90s Barbie that's not worth much, but this one in the bag with the bendable legs and the like little bit of discoloration on the legs, the hair in the face, she looks older. So I thought it was worth taking a chance on at $1.69. This is a IZOD, which I don't normally deal with, but this is made in the US, IZOD um, cardigan. And it's a large, so it's a good size. And it was $4.50 and that, uh, the, that's a really popular style. I don't generally mess with IZOD unless it's like Lacoste also. Uh, but that should, for $4.50, I should get $20 out of that. The North Face, 5 bucks. Men's XL. Uh, oh, no. Women's XL. Anyway, Women's XL hoodie for 5 bucks. And then this is a, the North Face Men's Medium Jet Windbreaker Jacket. And it was like 7 bucks. Um, and so lots of cheap the North Face today, oddly enough. The North Face is a brand that is falling off. Like, if you've been at this as long as I do, you remember when you could get you could get anything you'd ask you could get out of Columbia jackets. And then North Face took over and Columbia fell off. And then Patagonia showed up as popular, like Patagonia and the North Face and Columbia. I've kind of all been around forever, but they take turns being the number one to thrift anyway. And so Patagonia has gained a popularity and something will come up behind Patagonia Arterix or something and knock Patagonia off. But uh, the North Face is on the way down, but that doesn't make them worthless. And it, uh, I mean, I spent, I spent $20 total. I should make my money back on everything, every individual item but the uh, with the Barbies being an outlier. So this one ended up being by Jack, Jack Specific, which makes it not worth anything and not old. But then this one I think might be Britney Spears. Uh, it's 1999. I'm gonna dig into it a little bit. All right, the Barbies are junk. Thanks for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, following, clicking the bell, all the things that you do. Thanks for hanging out with us today. We'll see you on the next one.